Hi, I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you signature fragrances that are perfect for different types of women. So we all have many different types of women in our lives and for that matter sometimes we want to emulate different types of women. So I thought well I'll give you fragrances that kind of fit different personalities. Maybe one will be perfect for you for your signature scent or uh, maybe someday you want to be you know, a, a certain character, you want to kind of like emit a certain vibe, pull out one of these. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first personality that needs a signature scent is the boss lady. Now the boss lady, she's kind of harsh. She, uh, you know, depending on who she is, her tone may be quieter or softer, but you don't mess with her because she knows what she wants, she gets it, and you don't get in her way. She is loaded. This woman, she's the CEO of a company. She doesn't have time to mess around. So if you don't mean business, don't even deign to waste your time. Like, just don't, because she is too busy. She works from 5 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. <laughs> She doesn't take breaks except for when she goes on her rich, luxurious holidays, which happens, I don't know, about every six weeks, but she deserves it because she works hard. She works hard. In any case, this woman, this boss lady, her signature scent is of course Prada La Femme. Like you knew I was gonna say that. Uh, this fragrance, it's clean, but it's sophisticated. It smells rich. It smells, um, luxurious. It smells definitely classy, uh, but there is this clean quality to this one. This one is primarily, I get two burrows out of this one. There's also, I believe, some Ylang Ylang frangipani. So it's a little bit warm, kind of a little bit tropical somehow to me anyway, uh, but it's just beautiful. This one has also some carrot seeds in it, which uh, is apparently similar to orris butter. So it just creates a smooth sweetness in this one. I think that there's beeswax in this as well, if I'm not mistaken, and then there's some spices. So although this is a floral and it is slightly heady, this one has a little bit of spice that makes it uh, intriguing to me. So to me that is perfect for a boss lady. Classy, clean, it smells almost a little bit like an extremely expensive shower gel. There's a little bit of, almost a little bit of effervescence to this one somehow. Uh, but this one's definitely going to leave a trail, um, and I think it's perfect for that no-nonsense businesswoman that has it together and doesn't take any guff. Like, she is the guff. <laughs> you don't mess with her. Boss lady. Prada La Femme. So next is kind of that weirdo, quirky type chick. Now, she, she beats to her own drum. Like, she's always, like... You know, she may be a little bit like <laughs> like that, or she may be kind of like in her own world half the time, but she uh, she's fun to be around. She Like you never know what's gonna come out of her mouth. You never know what she's gonna do. Uh, it's usually slightly crazy. Whenever I think weird or quirky, I can't help but think of Owen Wilson. Like he's always like talking like this and wow. Like that, what, what, what were you thinking? Like that kind of, like there's that, but I also think about this chick that I saw in some show, I can't remember her name, but she's like all oh, like kind of like this all the time. Any kind of weird quirkiness, they're fun, they're hilarious, they don't care what other people think. Um, they like to think outside of the box. I just love quirky and weird. That's part of the reason why I call you guys the weird and wonderful, to be the epitome of, uh, humanity is our uniqueness. Uh, I just love that and so I love the quirky weird chick. Um, her signature scent would definitely be, I only have a sample, Ganymede. So Ganymede is the weirdest fragrance I have ever smelt in my life but it's really intriguing. So it's got this, uh, there's a little bit of an orange quality just somehow on the ether <laughs> but it smells kind of medicinal or minerally or almost like metal but at the same time it smells like clean upholstery 
and ozone, like almost like air conditioner smell. So clean, uh, ozone. Some people say it smells like space, not that you would even know, but the, the, it's a good description. It's nothing like I've ever smelt before. So that said, even though it's weird, it actually still smells quite intriguing. Like it's intriguing, it's different. Uh, it's so worth smelling. If you can get a sample and at least just sniff it, I can see this fragrance actually being appealing on someone as well because you just get a whiff and it would be just clean and slightly different, which is perfect for the weird outside of the box girl that doesn't want to smell like the average woman. Ganymede would definitely put you in a whole other category. So definitely it's worth smelling. Yeah, like clean sneakers. Uh, uh, upholstery in an airplane, like a, a perfectly new airplane. You get in and you can smell kind of that weird smell because everything's been sterilized, plus there's the new upholstery and you kind of stick your nose in it and kind of take a big whiff. That's Ganymede somehow. Uh, and then somehow just out here on the ether is a little bit of an orange smell, just kind of just floating about like particles almost like particles every once in a while you get a little whiff of a slight orangey feel so anyway that is Ganymede definitely perfect for the unique quirky chick next is the cold mysterious sexy woman now her signature fragrance like this woman she she's put together she's got long dark hair her lips are full her eyes, enticing, intoxicating. There's no fragrance that is intoxicating as the mysterious woman, but she's also slightly aloof. So, you know, she's somewhere and her eyes just, they actually, it's like her eyes are this trap, like a Venus fly trap. Her eyes, her stare, her mouth, and guys just get reeled in like moths to a flame, but they don't realize that when they get too close, they're gonna get zapped by this chick. She may she may scratch your eyeballs out, or she may just reel you in, do what she wills with you, and then spit you out. That is the cold, aloof woman. So she's slightly mysterious, slightly intoxicating, slightly lethal, and she wears Versace Crystal Noir. Now, I have a true confession. I kind of wish I was this woman at times. Like, I've always wanted to be the, you know, dark, mysterious, seductress. It's just not me. Like, I'm <laughs> I definitely fit in the quirky, unique side more so than anything. However, every once in a while, I want to be the mysterious, alluring, intoxicating one. And if I were, the perfect signature scent for this woman would be Crystal Noir by Versace. Now this one, this is the EDT version. So people were saying to me, oh, you need to try the EDT. I didn't realize it, but that's the one that I have. Uh, so maybe I need to smell the EDP. I really love the way this smells. So it smells, there's a bit of coconut in it. It's to me ever so slightly watery like it doesn't smell like a creamy thick coconut it smells more like a coconut water to me uh, there's a little bit of soapiness to it i think because of the pepper it smells bordering on unisex so i think a guy could actually pull this one off in fact i think i'd like it on a guy quite a lot uh, but anyway, it's it's alluring, it's sexy, but it smells clean, and it's a little bit mysterious because of that pepper. And whenever I smell this, all I can think of is, um, you know, that woman, she just, she doesn't care. She doesn't care at all about you. She just uses you for what she can get out of you. And then she's going to spit you out if you don't pleasure her every minute. You're gone. <laughs> Crystal Noir. Not that, like, maybe she's nice. Maybe she's nice deep down, but she's definitely a man eater. Not the fragrance, the woman. <laughs> Next personality that needs a signature fragrance is the Type A uh, chick. She always has it together. She's very organized. She volunteers uh, constantly for things. I think almost of a Monica type person because she, uh, you know, she's all like seriously she's not just on time she's early uh she likes to have things 
tickety-boo, uh, but there is a warmth about her. So the fragrance that I would choose for that is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Now the reason why I think this one is perfect for kind of a no-nonsense woman that's uh, organized and put together is they oftentimes want to be classy, uh, but there there is a warmth to Coco Mademoiselle. So this is a citrus. Uh, it has orange in the opening, but it's a sweeter, warmer orange, so it doesn't smell zesty or zingy at all. And then this one also has uh, some beautiful florals. It has uh, some tonka and vanilla and uh, woody notes in the base. So this one is an all-around classy, beautiful, no-nonsense fragrance. But the cool thing about this one is that because it kind of morphs on the skin, so it starts out orangey and more floral, citrus, dries down to more of a little bit of a, uh, a wood, woody, spicy component, but that orange stays throughout the whole entire wear. It's like you get a bit of a morpher. So it's great for day and takes you straight into the evenings. This one's gonna last you 10 to 12 hours on the skin. And I think that this is an absolute amazing signature fragrance, especially for that woman that's no nonsense, has it together, wants to smell classy. And yeah, Coco Mademoiselle. Now the next fragrance is for that warm hostess woman. Now she, she like she wears like she's a pretty casual you know you come to her house in fact i can see her wearing kind of one of those loungewear outfits like she wears a loungewear outfit she's always got some muffins in the oven or cakes or cookies there's something in the cupboard for anybody that comes over she makes the best coffee like this woman knows her way around a kitchen when she made when you get invited to her house you are excited because she makes the best lasagna ever like this woman knows how to cook man but not only does she know how to cook you come to her house and it's like you're on vacation it's like you have this amazing time the whole entire time you're there she's just her hospitality is her big thing and she's phenomenal at it you walk into her place she gives you a hug you feel attended to you feel pampered that woman, her signature fragrance is Girl of Now Shine. So this one, uh, it opens up, it smells warm, it's sweet. There's a warm pineapple on the, the top of it. And then there's this beautiful pistachio almond uh, in kind of the, the mid. You smell the pistachio almond right off the bat, but uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the vibe of the fragrance. It's just this warm, uh, slightly cooked pineapple with pistachio and almond. Uh, it smells like a hug. It smells cozy. Uh, it's warm and inviting and this is perfect for the hostess. <laughs> wants to smell a little nutty. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the nuts are definitely in there, but it just smells warm and sweet and luscious and grounding and I just love this and I think it smells like a cozy hug and it's perfect for that amazing hostess. Next fragrance is for that shy girl. So she she smiles like she's got this sweet little smile. There's lots going on behind the eyes. Uh, she is such an excellent supporter. If you have this girl in your corner, you are lucky to have her. Uh, she will support you and help you as a friend. If she works for you, she works her hiney off, but she does not like the limelight. That all goes to you. She doesn't care if anyone knows who, her name even. She just does her job and does it well. So that girl, she wears Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Now this fragrance is great for anyone that doesn't want to be too out there, uh, doesn't want to stand out, doesn't want their perfume to stand out. If you work in a setting where technically you're not supposed to wear fragrances, this one may be great because it just smells clean for the most part. Uh, so this one also isn't a massive projector, so you may get a whiff of it here and there, but it won't be overpowering to anybody. Now this one almost smells a little bit like like pencil shavings, a little bit of a, a, a woody, sweet woody component on this one and then just kind of clean, but not detergent clean, just clean, if that makes sense. So this one, apparently when you have it on your skin, you don't really notice it. I always have noticed it. So 
Um, I don't go anosmic to this, but a lot of people do, but it'll still just be this beautiful aura around you. So this one's a really great one to check out. Don't spray it on a card though, spray it on your skin because you're not necessarily gonna smell it on a card just because of the type of fragrance it is. Now for um, a signature scent for the uber feminine woman. She's a woman where her voice is just naturally a little bit softer. Uh, she smiles a lot. Like she, you know, she's always smiling. Even when she's telling you off, she's smiling because, you know, you just, you stay calm. She doesn't really get that ruffled because she doesn't need to get ruffled because there's so, like, she's so many steps ahead of you. She, she's just that feminine. <laughs> You know the woman. She's just, you know, she she's feminine. Like she's she's pretty in pink, man. She has her hair coiffed just perfectly. Uh, she's maybe got a scarf on. Um, she's soft. She's demure. She's classy. She wears Le Vie Belle. Oh, Le Vie Belle even has a scarf. So it's perfect. Like this is the epitome of femininity to me. Uh, this has beautiful sweet notes. There's black currant and pear in there. Definitely get that. Uh, but then you get this, um, you know, there's the florals in there and then this sweet, um, you get this beautiful sweet praline vanilla combo. So I just think that this one is so, so pretty. Uh, it's so weird because sometimes I smell this and I can't smell the pear and the black currant. And then other times it's the first thing I smell. So it just depends. But this one, it's sweet, it's feminine, it's girly, it's pink. Um, it has the bow, it's soft. There's a bit of a powdery quality to it. Uh, but at the same time, it gets what it wants. <laughs> So La Vie Belle, beautiful fragrance for the uber feminine woman. Perfect for a signature set. There's also the girl next door. Now the girl next door, she wears like a crisp white shirt, jeans. She doesn't get overdone ever. Uh, she has her hair, sometimes it's in a ponytail, sometimes it's just straight, sometimes it's in a big uh, pod on the top of her head. But no matter what she's got on, like she could be wearing flip-flops and a slouchy sweater, she's just beautiful. Like you just kind of can't help but stare. She has this big, huge, gorgeous Cameron Diaz smile. Uh, yeah, she's she's not fussy in the way that she presents herself. She's pretty casual. She's super relatable. And she wears Dolce & Gabbana's light blue intense or light blue, either one. Now I have the light blue love is love because the actual light blue is just a little too sharp on my skin. Although I'm tempted to try it again because I've fallen so in love with this love is love. The light blue, it has apple. I think that there's Granny Smith apple and lemon on the opening. So you get kind of a sweet, uh, zesty lemon. Uh, but then as this dries down, I think there's some cedar in it. There's some muskiness. To me, it comes almost uh, like there's enough sweet that it's almost a little bit vanillic, even though no vanilla is listed. Um, it's just a, a really beautiful uh, tried and true fragrance that is great for many women. Uh, and just like the guys are attracted like a moth to the flame to the sexy alluring woman, guys are are attracted like a moth to the flame to the girl next door like you know you always see those teeny bot movies where the girl she's getting changed and you've got that goofy you know nerd derpy dude uh you know looking through his binoculars or whatever at the gorgeous high school girl next door they're always attracted to the girl next door that you know that effortless uh ease and beauty guys really dig it they find it sexy so I'm also not that. <laughs> I'm way too high maintenance to be the girl next door. But if if I were the girl next door, I would definitely be wearing light blue as my signature fragrance. Next uh, personality that needs a signature fragrance is the hippie. Now this chick, you know, she remembers a day gone by that, uh, you know, everything was just groovy. We didn't have the problems then that, that, that we do now. Like we just went and it was like love and flowers and grooviness. And that chick, she wears 
Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. The, the flower child, a lot of times she's into the earth, she's into green, and so to me Flora Botanica is perfect for that because it's got mint cannabis in the opening, but what it does is it just gives this real fresh green woodsy feel, which is perfect for hippie chick. Uh, but then all of a sudden it's like this rose opens up as you wear the fragrance and you get this beautiful kind of dewy rose, which you, again, like I think flower child uh, when I think Flora Botanica. So I can see that anybody that kind of likes that woody green, but also likes a bit of floral would love Flora Botanica. The next woman that needs a signature fragrance is kind of the drama queen diva. So this woman, she uh, she's probably a bit artsy. Um, she likes to be known. She likes to make her presence known. She's a little bit loud. She's a little bit obnoxious at times even. Uh, when I think about her, like when I think about a fragrance like this, I think old money. When I think about Jasmine Wisp, I think new money. I think, you know, she's somehow become rich and famous probably from doing YouTube. And now she likes to smell uh, just, a, she wants you to, she wants you to notice her. She wants to be a little bit obnoxious. She wears big, huge pink high heels and carries a big obnoxious purse with like Louis Vuitton written all over it, huge sunglasses, wears lots of gold jewelry. She comes in and she, you know, she wants to be catered to. That is the drama queen. So Jasmine Wisp, it's a beautiful fragrance of just a lot of, I would consider this fragrance bombastic. That's the best way to describe it. It is so in your face. Uh, it's a, a, just a huge mosh of uh, fruits. There's like passion fruit and peach and there's coconut in this, although I don't get a whole lot of coconut. Uh, this actually doesn't have jasmine listed. Uh, it's just considered white florals. It's rather synthetic. I hated this when I first smelt it. It smelled screechy and loud. And now I just love wearing it. Like I'm about halfway done this bottle. So I really enjoy it. It's loud, it's, it's obnoxious, it's dramatic. Uh, it's f super fruity and invigorating. Uh, and that's what I find like when a drama queen or a diva walks in, a lot of times they ener energize the room. They're charismatic. Uh, so instantly they bring the drama, they bring the excitement, and so does this fragrance. So to me, if you're a drama queen, definitely check out Jasmine Wisp. The last personality that needs a signature fragrance is uh, the kind of otherworldly chick. Now, there, <laughs> there's the otherworldly term, I think of elves. I think of like an elvish creature. Uh, and every once in a while I run across them and I think to myself, are you sure you're on this? Are you sure you're from this planet? Like they're slightly angelic. I, I remember I called this one, uh, like I heard this one woman sing a long time ago and her name actually became otherworldly because she had the most fascinating voice. Like somehow like when she'd sing, oh, like it, it, it <laughs> That doesn't sound very otherworldly, but yeah, they're they're otherworldly. They they it seems like they're from a different planet or a different space time continuum or some sort of other aspect of the multiverse. I don't know, but they just they kind of dress ethereal, uh, slightly angelic, maybe kind of gauzy. Again, I just think of them with their voices being quite soft. They're kind of calming to be around. Uh, you're not sure if they're part of this world or not, like they're kind of regal. Uh, you know, you're not sure if you touch them, they, they would be even real. A lot of times they're beautiful. My guess is that if they lifted their hair back, they'd have pointy ears. <laughs> that kind of chick. Um, it's the kind, it, actually, I realized that I kind of wished I was all of these chicks. I think part of it is that I am all of these chicks. I think, yeah, I think I am part, all of these chicks at some point, but uh, maybe some are more than others. <laughs> the woman that is kind of otherworldly and just regal and yet, where are you from? She wears Amethyst by Lalique. To me, this is a perfect elvish fairy fragrance. 
Uh, this one is not for everybody, definitely. It's got some fruit on the opening, but it's not a sweet fruit. Uh, a lot of times when we think fruity, or at least me, I think like, you know, like uh, berries and sugar. Uh, you know, you think strawberry, like synthetic candy, you know, that kind of fruity vibe, because that's what you get a lot of times in fragrance. This one is definitely more raw fruit, uh, slightly green. It, it's got stems and leaves mixed into it. It smells, um, it smells slightly watery, uh, slightly, um, yeah, it smells like you're outdoors. Um, I just imagine, seriously, I, I imagine um, in the Lord of the Rings, uh, an elf, a beautiful elf queen, and she's wearing kind of whatever she's wearing, something cool. <laughs> <laughs> something cool and she's walking through the woods and she's kind of running a little bit like she walking and then running almost skipping and so her her dress is kind of flowing in the back uh, of her but kind of dragging on the ground she's barefoot and she's walking on moss and while she's walking she, her cloak is kind of brushing against uh, berries, berry bushes, and so you're getting kind of that woodiness, but you're also smelling the berries and kind of the um, the humidity of the forest, um, the, a little bit of dampness. That's to me what amethyst is like. This fragrance is so refreshing, but somehow calming. It doesn't last very long, so I'll get four or five hours if I overspray with this one. Uh, but it's such a reasonable price and I just love it. It definitely isn't for everybody um, because it isn't overly sweet. Uh, but to me, it's just such a stunning fragrance and perfect for that kind of otherworldly girl. <laughs> Those are all the personalities that needed signature fragrances. And I think I did a good job choosing them. Which woman are you out of the 10 that I've listed? If I were to pick the woman I am probably the most, and I'm not sure I even <laughs> <laughs> it would be the diva like uh, unfortunately i i'm pretty charismatic um i i you know i can kind of get the attention uh, like i can get attention um i'm a little bit obnoxious maybe a lot of bit obnoxious um but yeah at, at the root of this girl she's warm and wonderful <laughs> So I think honestly, there's a little bit of me in each one of these. Like I think with all of us, there's certain aspects of our personality that really relates to each one of these women. Which one are you? Or do you have one or two that you uh, relate to? Let me know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.